Hello and welcome to Chase. Hi and welcome to Jason C. Forgot. You know that feeling when you haven't put out a video in a while and you haven't watched that much TV, so you have nothing to review and you want to talk about a show you really love that you'll never be able to do justice just by doing it your own way. That's that's how I feel right now. Sexual innuendo. Fuck me up the ass. Hi, I'm Jason. This is my TV guide, and today I'm looking at Fleabag. Ah, Fleabag! This is my current favourite show on TV before I get into these lot. I vaguely heard about this from my friends from the past year and kept putting it off because it was on BBC Free. Not that I have anything against BBC Free. They make lovely stuff, but for some reason trying to sell me on a drama comedy from BBC Free is like trying to sell me on any YouTube Red Premium, whatever it's called now, show. Yeah, I know I should probably watch Cobra Kai and Minefield hey, and all that, but it's another time. I was finally convinced when I was told it was on an iPlayer, had only six 30 minute episodes and was by the same lady who did Killing Eve. I ate through the whole thing in an afternoon and it was already one of my favourite shows of all time. And you know I watch a lot of stuff. Yes, I know not that much recently. I'm working on it. Yeah, give me, get off my back. Written by and starring Phoebe Waller-Bridge, whose name sounds like a decision and morally conflicted Republican might attempt, Fleabag follows a nameless 30-something through her shitty London life, which she fills with dry wit, desperate one-night stands and petty theft. Luckily, she'll let you in on her honest thoughts through sly asides to the fourth wall. Didn't get it. Dealing with family issues, awkward British dating, and tragic loss, it's... Well, it's so incredibly British, you'll get whiplash from its banquet of bloody good swears, as there's just as much tea spilled as there is drank. On a recommendation scale from, yeah, it's alright, give it a go if it's your thing, to... <laughs> Crying your eyes open, clockwork orange style, while watching you watch it for your every reaction. It's honestly closer to the latter as I can get without being arrested. It's also what you might call a dramedy if you're a bit of a wanker. Like Atlanta, Fargo and the Brendan Fraser episodes of Scrubs. If these dramedies are unique in how they use comedy to totally contrast against serious moments of tension and drama, then Fleabag is the equivalent of making dead baby jokes in the face of a miscarriage. We like our humour shockingly dark over here in Brexit land. And while that won't be for everyone, Fleabag revels in being outrageous. The comedy is a condensed, constant barrage of pure gold, like a machine gun at the Somme. If it wasn't on the beeb, I'm sure you'd be able to double the episode length and get a decent mileage out of the jokes already there. But we're British. We don't do 20 episode long seasons of mostly filler garbage. Quality over quantity, like a milk tray or an assortment of lint chocolate. This, this show never misses an opportunity to be clever, funny, or crushingly poignant. Did I, did I mention this show is like brutally sad at times? It's unbelievable. Between its raunchy attitude and dry sarcasm, this show punches the balls in your heart until you're sick and crying on the, the floor in your own puddle of bodily fluids. Peep show Oscar royalty Olivia Coleman plays one of the most cutting and sadistic stepmothers in the history of television. Panel show comedian and outnumbered dad Hugh Dennis plays a sweet but sad misogynist banker. Twat. And Moriarty <laughs> himself, Andrew Scott, just kills it as the sexy priest in series two. Phoebe Waller Bridge herself has perfect comedic timing, whether she's delivering a quick witted one liner or giving you a cheeky side glance. In fact, while you might find fourth wall breaks in things like Deadpool to be hokey meta gimmicks meant to lampshade every cliche and acknowledge every mishap, when Fleabag looks to you, it's like she's turning to you in that, look at this dickhead, <laughs> way only a true friend can. Fleabag, as she's credited on IMDb, uses her messy lifestyle as a barrier to her real emotions. With that stream of conversational consciousness comes a blunt honesty from a generally not very nice character. But like any anti-hero, 
You like and root for her because of her honesty and because she's a rare example of farty naughty female debauchery on screen. Phoebe Waller-Bridge started Fleabag as a one-hour, one-woman show at Edinburgh Fringe Festival, and she has since turned it into one of the best British TV shows in recent history. Between that and Killing Eve, she's almost single-handedly turned BBC from a joke into a serious digital TV competitor. This is the last time she's involved in those shows, like this is the last flea bag and she's not writing series 2 of Killing Eve. I cannot wait to see what she does with a new HBO series that she's got because bloody hell she deserves it. It's called Run, I believe. She's moving on to better things, but this is what jumped her up there. In the meantime, this show is phenomenal and it's the show you need to be spending the next three or so hours with.